Let's talk strikes, shall we? Uh, they're everywhere, aren't they? Railways, health service, you name it. And now teachers could be next. I'm going to just cut to the chase um, because we, we go around, everyone knows what the issues are. People will say, you know, my pay's fallen, um, you know, I'm not valued, etc. Do you support teachers going on strike, Kevin? Because you are a teacher, mm, aren't you? Yeah. No, I do, Michelle. Um, I think it has to be done. I think um, when you think about it, um, the government were offering near 5% to the teachers and inflation's at 10%. So straight away, you're talking about uh, a real terms pay cut. And that Institute of Fiscal Studies, the independent body that came out today in the newspapers was making the point in the last 12 years, our pay has dramatically declined, dramatically declined uh, compared to where it was. So every way you measure it, teachers are worse off. And we're not really talking uh, pay rises over the last few years. We're talking real terms pay cuts. That's the first issue. But even in its own terms, people might say, oh, you're selfish and all your teacher. But the problem is the schools in this country in England can't get the teachers. There's a massive uh, recruitment crisis. I think just over 40% of this past year, um, teacher places couldn't be filled at the teacher training colleges. And then if you look at something else, if you look at the average teacher in the first five years, one th I think I'm right in my figure, one third or just under one third of teachers leave the profession after within five years. So there's something going wrong, Michelle, right? So at that level, at the terms of the actual pay and the terms of the actual conditions, you have to do something. And it's only going in one direction at the moment. And therefore, I think you've got to pull it around. But let me be honest before you ask, Michelle, because you're a good interview and you'll ask me, even for my own self-interest, perspective I absolutely want a pay raise but let me ask you this right don't you think that you're already on on to quite a good thing because you teachers get reasonable salaries already good salaries actually up to about 38 grand I think it is uh in England for example yeah. you get about a quarter uh 24 percent there or thereabouts pension contributions as my um fellow emailed in a second ago you get about 13 weeks holiday <laughs> you got a job for life kevin i think uh, you know the uh, uh, and you know what and uh, some of the things that that fellow was saying and others are, are, are dead on but let me give you a quick uh, example so first of all by the way on the pensions Good luck to our unions when they were strong at fighting for good paying conditions. Thank God we had a decent union. But see, tomorrow, my students, the year 12, do their, their mock exam in politics. This is the A-level ones. So I reckon there's 22 in that class. It's going to be about 30 minutes per exam paper for me to mark. So that's my Saturday and Sunday, pretty much marking. And once you've marked all them, I'll write that up and I'll write a model answer, la -di -da, -di -da, da So I'm, what I'm saying is my Saturday and Sunday will be pretty much taken up by marking just that one group. Uh, and then what, what you've got is all the other classes I marked. So what I want to say to that fellow and the other people who go, you've got 30 weeks holiday, yeah, blah, blah, blah. People are saying it's, so yeah. all, all I would say is the amount of weekends and uh, evenings and all the rest of it are taken up on marking and prep. And by the way, lots of us teachers, from the goodness of our hearts, run extracurricular activities. For many years, I've run a school football team, the school debating clubs. Like, I can like, hear the violins. No, I know, but the, the point, are out. Got on your but the point I'm making is, I, I, got, I swear to God, I'm not even looking for sympathy. The point I'm making is, if you just say, oh, they get 13 weeks holiday, blah, 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 it sounds as if we have it cushy. And it what, I'm, what I'm trying to say, in the round, you know, we don't, but... Don't get me wrong, I don't want to be a whinging teacher. I actually love my job, but I, I do think there are things about it which could be turned around and improved and it would bring a lot more young people into the profession. But just on the teaching, or just on the pay, Michelle, just to nail this, absolutely, I think teachers should go on strike. Why should we take a real terms pay cut down Well, I've wages? got a lot to say back to you in response, but I'm conscious that I've not heard from uh, Daniel. I'm sure you've got a lot to say on this topic as well. Your thoughts? Well, I'll try and be brief. What, what we're seeing here is the desperately dangerous corrosive effects of letting inflation take off in your society. And that has happened because we've had central bankers over the last few years printing money like there's no tomorrow and telling us it wouldn't affect inflation. Well, now, it does. And when it happens, you get people who say, and it's understandable why people like Kevin say, why should my standard of living fall because the value of the pound has gone down in terms of its purchasing power? Mm -hmm. It's been allowed to go down. I haven't been responsible for that. The Bank of England did that. Why should I suffer from that? So it's perfectly understandable why people want to say that. And then what you see, of course, is that those who have strong unions, they're mainly monopoly suppliers of labour, um, in the public sector and in related things like the train operating companies. I know they're not publicly owned anymore, but they're very similar in structure. 
They're the ones who can go out and defend themselves. And they can go on strike and they can try and get a better deal. They have no regard um, and no consideration for people who are in parts of the economy where you cannot go out and effectively defend yourself. They are happy to be an elite class able to put the barrier around themselves and try and protect themselves. I understand it, but it's not actually what you'd call fair. It's not something which is sympathetic to other people in society. And, of course, you've got to think about the consumer, if you like, as well. And the consumers range from the patients who don't get into the hospitals, who don't get treated, the kids who won't get teaching, mm. presumably. I don't know what, what Kevin's strike is going to involve, but presumably there'll be kids going without teaching. Uh, the people who can't get uh, journeys on trains because, because people are on strike, they don't count. But nor do the people who can't strike. They don't count either. A special class, and Kevin's happy to be part of that special class, through exercising muscle. Don't blame him, but it's no, there's nothing nice about it. There's nothing to recommend, nothing to admire. Yeah, and I've got to say, let me ask you this, right, because you all know this anyway. One of the unions, they balloted for strike action, right? Um, and it clo the ballot closed a couple of days ago, three days ago, whatever. Um, and they didn't even get the threshold mm. of half of their members. Yeah. So if it is so bad and yeah. everyone's so disgruntled and demotivated and all the rest of it, why didn't that union that's, that's polled, what, 100, 150,000 members in England, 10,000 in Wales, they yep. couldn't even get half their staff to turn out and vote? It's a brilliant question, Michelle. I, I think that's a friggin' brilliant question. And I, I think part of it is the fact that the, a lot of teachers are actually demoralised and disgruntled, and not just with pay, the lack of paying conditions, but also with their union. Sometimes they think the union's not fighting a good fight for them. But when you, I found out about that when it came to the studio, it was in the green room. I seen it flashing along in GB News at the bottom. It's the NSUWT. Mm -hmm. That's my union. Oh, so that's, your union? But that's my union. So you won't uh, be going on the right. But uh, I would have... I would've First strike, um, but do you know what? Do you know what I would do? What do you hear? You heard it here first. I'd go and strike anyway, and see if the the government tries to say we're going to well, outlaw you. Know, well, we're you, know outlaw you. you know what I would do? Hold on. So this government can get elected in less than fifty percent of the vote. And they're going to dictate the workers all these rules and opticals about us having a democratic vote and vote for strike. And if X amount of people don't vote in that ballot, then say la vie. Should we not have had Brexit then because not everybody voted, went to the ballot box? Can, can, I, can I help? Can I help? Can I just come here? back and tell you that I think you're being ridiculous? And then you, you can come no. back as well. But I think you're being ridiculous because the rules of the Brexit referendum were made clear. Whatever the outcome was, whether it was a majority, it would be implemented. So everyone knew the rules when they went in. I'm not going to get into Brexit debate because I have mm. time. So you knew the rules. You know the rules of your <laughs> it's like, My if point you, is, you know, Michelle, it's no, double standards. You, it's double standards teacher, from this government. Why are they elected teacher, less than 50% of the vote? Uh, okay, if I, 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 I can help. If I was and you went on strike, I'd fire you. Uh, and, and, and guess what? I hope that all of my fellow workers would go on strike and we would defeat you trying to criminalise us and trying to do us down. Yeah. And by the way, yeah, Daniel, yeah. before you do Criminal, come back... I'm not criminalised. Oh, I haven't even started know, yet, yeah, But, Kevin. Daniel, I mean, no, but on your first point... Do I, I get think, three or four minutes I think they call it, the end? I think right. they I call it gaslighting. Is that what? the term, what you did to me? So people like me, because we go on strike, we're oh, yeah. selfish, we're an elite class. Here you are, blah, blah, blah. you've got the power. So when you you've defend... You've got the power. I smile with Daniel. When you... When you attempt to defend your self-interest for better paying conditions, I am smiling at the arch capitalist calling me selfish. So do you want to respond, Daniel? I have no idea what he's talking about there. Yeah, um, I just want to help him out. I can oh. tell him what the legal position is. Unions in this country have a very privileged position in that if they go on strike lawfully, they cannot be sued for damages by the people who suffer. But if they go on strike unlawfully, they can. So you are perfectly free in this country. No, don't, don't interrupt me, Kevin. You are perfectly free, if you want to, to go ahead and hold that strike. But I'll tell you, it will be an unofficial strike because the NAS UWT will absolutely not do it because no, I... then every parent in the country could sue the union yeah. for the cost of getting replacement uh, teaching for their for their kids who are not okay. taught, and, of course, it would bankrupt the union. Yep. So you're completely okay, free to Daniel, do it. Go the, ahead. Get two, your there's, colleagues there's, to there's do it. There's two points. I'm, I'm tempted to get stuck in the Daniel, have a good ding-dong with him, but try to come back to you slightly. There's two points. In terms of me, I, if I choose to withdraw my labour, I, I will do it. End of story. I will not let a government criminal 
criminalize me. But just to come no, back criminal. to you, hold on, Michelle. I want to come back I to you. you. I want to. Well, well, I'm not you, 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 criminal, you, 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 criminal. You can fire me, and that would be great because what you'll have is you'll be firing all these other people, and you'll have no teachers to take their place, and that's really going to improve things. Now, as it happens, I wanted to come back to your earlier point. The biggest union by a million miles is not my union, by the way, the NSUWT. It's the education yeah. union, and uh, I think. We'll see. My prediction is that the education union will be able to get over all the obstacles and uh, blockages that this government puts in the way of unions in terms of when they vote for strike, and they will have a majority even by the terms of the government to vote for strike. And so I think that strike will will happen. And if you take my school as it happens, this is probably neither here nor there for your viewers, but my school would probably be about ninety percent the education union. I just happen to be in the NSUWT because they have a relationship with the FE College Union called Nafi, which I happened to teach in in the past. So your union, so this is an actual, this is not hypothetical, so you're, you voted in your ballot, your ballot closed on the 9th of Jan, so you're, you didn't get your threshold, you got 42%, you needed 50. Nine out of ten people that voted in your ballot voted for strike action. Yep. So you now know your outcome. Yep. Your union isn't going to pass uh, strikes. So are you telling me that you you are just going to go on strike anyway? No, I, what I'm telling you is I think what will happen is, I mean, it's a moving beast because I just found this out walking in the studio. I think what's going to happen there is it's up to my union. I would always obey what my union says. Now, I suspect my union... But you've just told hold, me hold on, Michelle. Opposite. No, hold on. I think my union will probably say we're afraid to you know, go against the government's laws and we won't go on strike. So what I'll do is I'll work the situation in my school and I'll make sure I don't do anything if it happens strike action with the education union I won't do anything to 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 block or stop or deter them from achieving the victory in this dispute and we'll have to see what that means uh, when, we, when we get to it um, anything any final thoughts from you Daniel on this topic no I think Kevin's exhausted me on on this really <laughs> we know all the details of what he's going to do um, Daniel uh, it's a negative person attacks the person and not the argument yeah but don't interrupt him then go on yeah and we know all the things that uh, he's going to do, but we know very little actually about what, um, how he is going to demonstrate that the kids in his school are not going to suffer from this, because that's not his primary. Oh, I'm happy to have that conversation. He's perfectly happy. Well, respond to that perfectly point, happy. then. So, don't, would you? Don't you care? I, I, I do. It's a brilliant point. I do care. And even though the teachers will always say we're 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 going to go on strike, or we take industrial action for the betterment of the children and and the parents and the families and the state of education in the country, I would accept that when you go on strike, that kids are damaged. I would accept that. And personally speaking, I think it's a price that has to be paid. I, I, can we turn it back if we're going to have the last word to this government? who refuse to even allow our pay to stay on a par with the rate of inflation. And we are getting a real terms pay cut and we're supposed to just suck it up. But a lot of people are. We've got very So we should all suck it up, Michelle? Well, we've got very Absolutely not. economic situation right now, haven't we? For things, that, reasons out of the government's control, we had the ridiculous uh, COVID response, which wasn't out of the government's control, granted. You've got the situation in Ukraine, which is out of the government's control. It's not their fault that inflation is... It is OK, I get your point as well, quantitative easing, but ultimately, some of these component parts are outside of the government's uh, control. This I is don't the agree with you. The government has a choice. The government can choose to give workers their pay rise. And by the way, we're not all suffering equally. That's the problem in this country. The the, the wealth you are, the richer you get. And the idea that we're on the... Hold on, hold on, Daniel. Hold on. Just a moment, I, Hold on. Who are you these interrupted people? interrupted me. No, 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 I wasn't allowed to interrupt you. The idea, that we're, all, the idea that we're all in this together is absolute nonsense. Not everybody has been affected in the same way by this by this recession. Okay, well, that's it. Can, so come on Daniel wins the it. argument. He calls evidence. it socialist clap trap. Wow, that was then. really eloquent. Well, where's Don't some evidence? Just, people at home can't where's the evidence it? for that? The evidence for what? Well, you just well, our prime minister. The evidence is our prime minister is sitting there with six hundred million pound in his bank, for example. I, I don't have in one. Don't hold on, I don't. I don't hold on. No, I, well, what, so what? What we have in this I country is an unequal true. distribution of wealth. And so when workers yeah, go so on strike, we are demonised by people like Daniel, large chunks of the media owned by the wealthy, and we're the problem. I so, don't accept so it. Words, There's a choice: give the workers a decent pay rise. So you don't rise. have any evidence that the rich are getting better off. Uh, well, well, as a half is Daniel, even that, before you, you said, when we go to the adverts for GB News, I'll pull my mobile phone out and look it up and get. Give it to you. Well, There's plenty of it. So where is it? Queue, what better cue than to go to a break? He's just said during the break he's going to get his mobile phone up. He's going to find the evidence to back up that the rich are getting richer. I'm looking forward to that. I'll see you in two.